today I wanted to show you a quick and easy way to make a split screen video for Instagram Reels in Premiere Pro. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. I'm gonna use Premiere Pro for this, but you can probably use any other program like uh, Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. When you're in Premiere, you just start by making a new project here, and I'm just gonna name it Reels. And now we're gonna make two sequences. So the first one is our master project. This is where our final project is gonna live. I'm just gonna go down here and press here and just new sequence and I already have a preset so I'm just gonna choose that but I'll show you here what I'm working with I just have a 25 frames per second time base and my frame size is 2160 by 3840 which is 4k all my clips are in 4k but keep in mind you can still use this in full HD or something like that you just need to change the numbers according to that and I think the rest is kind of like standard stuff but you can pause the video here and just check it out and see if there's something wrong. But after that, you can go down here, say like save preset, and you can call it like, uh, I don't know, reels or reel. Then you already have that for the next time. But I already have this, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna press OK. And that's our main comp. And now we're gonna make our second sequence. The second one is for all our clips. This helps us crop the images so it works together in the final comp. Again, we're gonna go down here, new sequence. I'm just gonna choose the preset we just made, but I'm gonna go into settings because this vertical number is gonna change in this one. Because this number, we're gonna divide by how many clips we wanna use. So in my case, I wanna use three clips. So I'm gonna take 3140 and divide it by three which gives me 11280 and then we got this comp here and this comp is where we're going to drag in all our clips and by doing this you can pretty much choose how many clips you want to do if you want to do five then just divide the number by five or yeah you get the point i'm going to be using these clips that i shot with my sony fx30 we just had this amazing sunset so i just had to get out and just do some video and i didn't really have any idea i just started shooting so I got these clips that I'm not really sure what to use, but they will fit nice together in this kind of setup. I have chosen some clips here and just did a rough cut of it so we don't have to go through that but basically I just cut it down so I get the parts that I want to use. And from here we can start doing our edits so I'm gonna start by going down here and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. And then I'm just gonna drag it in over my clips. And the important part here is to fit each adjustment layer to each clip and you will see later why. When my layers are ready, I'm gonna go over here to Lumetri Color and I'm gonna do, go down to Creative. And here on the look, I can add my LUTs. And for these clips, I'm first gonna add a neutral LUT and then I'm gonna add some colors on top of that. And it's getting a little strong, so I'm just gonna put the intensity down to 50. And after this, I think I'm gonna add some grain. And I got these overlays from Thomas Franson here on YouTube, and I'm just gonna add a link down in the description so you could go check it out if you need some grain. So I'm just gonna drag them in on top of my adjustment layers. And after that, I'm gonna go over here to change the blend mode to overlay, and I'm gonna change the opacity down to around 60. But that depends on the footage you have and the look you wanna go for. The next thing we're gonna do is select each individual clip with the overlay and the grain and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to nest and I'm gonna nest it. And when that's done, I can just select my nested clips and copy paste them into my master project. And I'm on a Mac, so what I do is that I just select them, press Command C 
go into my master project and then press command V. And just like that, we got our clips there. Now I can stack my clips on top of each other and just move them up and down. And that's how we end up with our free split video. Something I think is very important is sound design. So I want to add something to these clips too. So I'm going to go over to Epidemic Sound and we're just going to look for some uh, sound effects. And it doesn't need to be anything special. It is just a reel, but I still want something. So when I'm over at Epidemic Sound, I'm just going to go up to sound effects. And I have done this before, so I think I know what I'm going to search for. But let's just see here. So let's try by typing in feels. So let's listen to these. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try cornfield. And I know because I already downloaded this once before. So I'm just going to go over here and press download. And now I can just import it to Premiere Pro and add it to my timeline. And just like that, we got this amazing video that we are ready to post on Instagram. And that's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.